Greetings, everybody. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video. It should be fast. Just showing you my first, last fitting of the cow. What I mean by that is the cow is, in my opinion, done, except for, well, it's not quite done. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, basically, um, all the fasteners are on. Uh, I opted for um, the hinge fasteners on the horizontal and sky bolts uh, all the way around the firewall. And I'm gonna show you how to adjust the sky bolt if you hang on just a second. But I wanted to point out some nifty things here uh, up front. There is an option that you will see for the hinges to not have to be adjusted from inside. And that has the uh, little emblem here. I'll try and post a link as to where I got these. I can't remember the name of the company right now, but it's pretty slick. So the, uh, the little emblem goes in here. Screws on with two number four screws. Uh, you pop that off when you want to take your cowling off. And my hinge comes out simply like this. And then the hinge comes apart. Put it in with the reverse. Put that back in there. Emblem back on. I like it a lot. Let me show you a couple other things with this cow. First of all, the sky bolt. Um, really cool uh, setup here. I like this a lot. It was uh, a pain to get set up and get everything adjusted properly. But there are other videos and in, uh, information on how to do that. What I didn't see is I didn't see a good video on how to adjust the sky bolts and how flexible they actually are. So the uh, socket is already mounted, riveted on the uh, flange on the inside. The cow's been cut and everything is ready to go. I'm ready to install the grommet and the fastener. Phillips head is what I opted for. Um, and the socket itself, you just back out until it's almost all the way out. Then you take your screwdriver, Phillips, I'm using, put the fastener and the grommet into the hole, push, and now the sky bolt is locked, but you can see that obviously it's not flush. So if I just keep twisting this, I'm adjusting that socket all the way down in to where I want it, pull the skin back. I'm gonna adjust that out just a little bit more, tighten that up, and now we are flush with the skin and here. A couple more adjustments as I go around. I want to come back over each one of these, but uh, it's super fast, really easy to do. Um, and then all you have to do once you pop the cowl off is you pull the retaining pin out and that socket is locked into position. All right, last thing I wanted to show you is the Easy Cow Jig. Um, why I choose to go with that uh, was just because other builders had recommended it. I am now recommending it. I could have mounted the propeller and the spinner bulkhead and done the exact same thing. Um, but there's a lot of up and down, shifting movement, aligning and things like that. Once you do the math with the Easy Cal Jig, you will take this whole cowling on and off, it seems like a hundred times. It may actually have been a hundred times. But how easy it is to do, I have the Clecos off on the top half of the cowl. Um, I'm gonna pull my hinge pins. wiggles off. I can go sand, mark, do whatever I need to do. I come back and everything's still set up properly. Put it right back in place. Hinge comes back in, remark, re-sand, do whatever needs to be done. Same thing with the bottom. I put the Clecos on up here. I take these off down here. The bottom drops right off. Um, and then you can put it right back up again. Uh, super simple, no big propeller and hub in your way. Um, and it allows you to be working up in this area where there's a whole lot of finish work to do. I'll show you a couple pictures of my almost finished cow. I've got a little bit more sanding and some uh, priming to do to make sure that my edges are perfect. And then uh, we're moving on from there. Thanks.